Man, have I learned a lot in the last 15 years. We've delved so deep into genetic stuff. And clearly there's 10,000, 100,000 gene SNPs out there that you could have. But most, the vast majority of people who come to see me have either a, a crazy inflammatory problem or some type, of gut pro some type of gut problem that's torturing them. Digestive problems, liver problem, whatever. That's kind of the two breakdowns. I don't see a lot otherwise. Well, fibromyalgia, I guess. I see a lot of that. I have an 8,000 patient cohort. If you have fibromyalgia, you go to that end fibromyalgia with natural options page I created so you can get free treatment for that. They get better, a lot better. Just you ask someone to help you there, they'll step in and help you. Uh, for the other problems though, the inflammation and the fatigue and the gut problems, we probably need to look at your CMA with the redox and your genetics. And I almost always can sort it out. I have 800 plus five-star reviews now on Google because we get to the root cause, we figure it out. You know only one in 20 patients at best, maybe one in 30 or 40 patients leave a review, no matter how good you are. But is there a reflection that we're trying really hard to give good service and to do a good job? We always respond to emails and uh, unless they're just absolutely nutty crazy, <laughs> have nothing to do with what I do. And they will let you know that's really not what Dr. Purser does, it's not what I do. Uh, I answer a lot of the emails, my staff just types it in and sends it back. So however I can help you, we're here, but we deal in root causes. So we wanna figure out what is bugging you, where it's at. And the two most common things I deal with are homocysteine. There's 17 SNPs now, everyone needs to get the word out there. 17 SNPs that have homozygous, any one of them are homozygous, it's gonna disrupt your transoperation pathway. That's how you detox, and especially in autistic kids, stuff like that which I think we can really help by the way, but, or it's a PEMT problem. I'm coming out with books on these this summer. They're high-end medical treatises on it. Sorry, uh, the delay public can actually understand most of it in there. There's just a lot of weird stuff that you may not understand the genetic stuff. It's kind of crazy. I spent, gosh, I spent all weekend looking at one chapter and trying to finish up the genetics. Makes me nuts, but I think they'll all be medical bestsellers, we'll see. I love you. Thank you for watching this and let's keep up the good work. And if I can help you, reach out to us. This is Dr. Dan Purser, danpursermd.com. Thank you.